What's up YouTube? My name is Amos Bro. For this video we are going to be going over what we learned today when it comes to the Udipri Modular of Legend Star site launch which actually occurred at 9 o'clock Eastern uh, 9, 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on July 31st. Today is August 1st as the time of this recording. We're going to go over what we know and what we don't know. But before we do that, I'm going to say this. Broccoli, you have arguably the most anticipated anime series that every fucking year it comes out with a new season. People are going to want to get on the website and they're going to want to be able to see what's up because they had a lot of questions because you didn't tell them anything between June of last year to present and you really didn't tell much at fifth stage outside of we were getting the season October of this year and now with when the site comes up it virtually crashed trying to get on the website especially over here was impossible. I was able to get on it once with no issues and then it was like crashing for like two hours. Trying to get on it without having an issue was impossible. Around 11, 11.30 it was starting to act normally again. So you have to work on that with the website coding and you have to work on it with your servers. You can't tell me you don't make enough money to be able to improve the servers to be able to withstand the capacity that you're going to have. You're going to get an overload every time you have a new season. And by the way, for the, re for the record, I'm already predicting a season 5, and I'll sort of explain why I'm predicting that as um, we get into it. Here's what we do know, okay? Outside of the seven singles that will be out this year and I'll explain how they're going to work there's going to be the main theme which will be Tempest and there will also be the ending theme which will be uh, Modula of Legend Star who's actually performing it I have to look it up again but it's a very interesting uh, situation now we have Modular Legends started coming out on the 5th, so I'm predicting that the first episode is actually going to air on October 2nd in Japan, October 1st in the US. That's my guesstimate. Now I'm saying this because on the 22nd, 24th, and 25th of September, there's going to be a screening of the first episode in Japan. <clears throat> for people to go see and usually when they have those things they have the cast there and they can do a QA and a and find out what's going on and what's the cast thoughts about the episode and so forth. So <clears throat> I'm predicting we're going to get the episode the first episode around October 1st in the West. That will be a Saturday. <sighs> okay Assuming that's what's going to happen, let's talk about this. Mighty Love Legend Star's um, ending theme and its secondary song will be released October the 5th. One week later, okay, is Tempest. That's October 12th. Both those, by the way, are on Wednesday. For, for those of you who are unaware or unfamiliar, in Japan, they release... CDs usually on a Wednesday. Games sometimes will get released on a Thursday. Whereas here in the US, if we were still selling CDs, and in some cases we do, they're released on a Tuesday. So in case you're wondering why it's Wednesday there. Um, but once you get past the 12th, there's a bit of a problem. There's a two-week gap of nothing. 
and then they have the first duet. We'll call it a cross unit because this is almost to me what a cross unit should be, or a shuffle unit if you want. It's going to be Ichinos Tokia and Eiji Atori. Interestingly enough, they're going to be first. At the end of everything, or at the end of these seven, it's going to be on December the 7th, at least that's the single, it's going to be uh, Echi and Atoya. So they're going to end it. Okay. I find that interesting. Think of that. The two roommates that have been around since season one are taking on the Atori brothers. I just think that's I just think that's neat to be honest. So <clears throat> that's the way it's going to work. It's going to be duets or cross units if you want to go there. And then and those are going to be by the way the songs that are done for the anime. If you remember though after um what was it? Oh yeah. If you remember for the cross units what they did was they would have that song appear in the anime and then they would have solo songs. So, for those of you curious, yes, you're going to get to hear E.G. or Edgy as a solo. You're also going to get to hear Nagi as a solo. You're going to get to hear Shion as a solo. The reason why I'm, by the way, picking on the uh, Heaven's Boys with solo we heard stars. We know what they're like. The unknown here is what it's going to be like to have the seven voice actors for Heavens to go solo. And this is very, very, very important for the future of the franchise. And I'm going to explain to you why, but before I do that, allow me to bring this up. So the 26th is Eiji is Eiji versus um, uh, Tokyo. Tokyo's, uh, excuse me, Mamo's uh, solo single comes out the 12th. There's a two week gap in between. So what do you do? Here's what you do. This is what I would do. Every episode of Yuta Pre has had a song of some kind. Be it a big group song, or they've had songs that were used for the DVDs. Here's what I would do, if it was me. I got a two week gap right between um, basically Tempest and whatever their their solo or their duet song is going to be. So, since we're doing duets, why not do two duets with Quartet Night? Makes sense, right? So here's what you do: you take any combination of the two, and you give them a duet to fill in the gap. And then you can give them another solo song, which isn't featured in the anime because you've already done it. So, this is what I threw out because I have one of the um, Quartet Night CDs and I actually did these, these particular duets. As a matter of fact, the songs are in um, Music 2. I'm not saying use the Music 2 songs I'm say or the songs from that CD. I'm saying this is what you could do though. Camus and, or Camu and I could be one group because actually I think they're very good together. They, 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 their voices mesh very well to me. And then you could do Ray J and Ramaru for the other one. So you don't have a gap where nothing's coming out. You see? So if I was Broccoli, and maybe, they, maybe they've already thought about this. Maybe they've only announced these particular seven 
but they know what they're going to do with Quartet Knight. Because as it stands, check this out. And you'll understand this in a second. As it stands, there is no Quartet Knight group song. There is no Heavens group song. The one way you could think about it, Modular Love Legend Star, right? Maybe it's not going to be Starish exclusive. Maybe it's going to be Starish, Quartet Knight, and Heavens, all 18 of them performing the song. Because I've seen the stage that they're potentially going to be performing at, and you could fit 18 people on that stage. Matter of fact, this is no joke. I've had, when I've been doing doing mental images for like fan fictions, I've had images where all 18 idols are standing on a stage similar to this one in the Tokyo Dome. So this would almost literally be like my fan fiction ideas coming into life if that's what happens. But now here's the question. Let's assume for 30 seconds this is what happens and all three groups are performing on that stage. What do you do then? Because you still haven't figured out how to make um, Heavens appealing to the non-Heavens fans, if you know what I mean. We won't call them Heavens here. We'll just say non-Heavens fans. So you have to now make them look appealing. Well, if you don't do it in the duet episodes, when are you going to do it? What are you going to do? A fifth season? I would love a fifth season. But, you would, but if you were going to do a fifth season, it would have to be, and this would be rolling... I, this would be a huge gamble. You would have to do a Heaven's Only season and a Heaven's Only game. That's what you have to do. But somehow I don't see that happening. Well, no, wait a minute. I can't say I don't see it happening because I'm saying I'm thinking it's going to be a fifth season. A fifth season that may very well be Heaven's exclusive. It could happen. But what's even... Because here's, what's, here's what else is interesting. Okay. They announced those seven singles, right? Okay. So let me get out my trusty calendar here real quick. And let's take a look at some stuff here. Okay, so the final single, as far as the duets go would be on the 7th. Hypothetically speaking, <clears throat> if we were going to end the series, or end this season around Christmas, you could do almost a Christmas themed episode. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, they're not going to because of the, um, the song obviously that they have to do but what I'm thinking is because that stage doesn't look like something for um, superstar sports anymore triple S what they could do is all the groups on that stage doing some big closeout concert or some some big concert for um, a group of people do you get what I'm saying? They could do, they could do something really, really cool with the end of the season, and I think they're going to. I think literally, we're going to see a joint with all three groups in the end. And like I mentioned, you're going to get to finally hear all of the Heavens Boys solo. That's super important. It's more important... Th this is going to be... 
the, the dumb, the, people might think this is the dumbest thing I'm going to say ever about you, Dupree. Heavens is actually more important this season in getting their characters over than Starish's are. And I love, I love Starish. I love Cortez Knight. But Heavens getting their characters over and getting them developed is the single most important thing you can do. Because now they're, they were starting to get merchandised a little bit at what was it, MA Japan. If people take a, start taking a real liking to Heavens, we're going to get more and more merch and maybe a game in the future. But who knows? Right now, there's a lot of questions we still don't know the answer to. We don't know the official release date for the first episode here in the West. We don't know what they're going to do with that two-week gap between when Shine comes out, or not Shine, I'm sorry, Tempest, and the Mamo EG single, or Tokyo EG single. Well, you get the idea. <sighs> it's going to be a fun time, kids. Let me know what you think, though. Because I'm dying to know what y'all uh, are really thinking about and plotting about with this new season, with, with all this information we got dropping. Because got news for you. Whew. We got a lot of information coming, and this show is going to be taking over a big portion of the news cycle for us for about two months. So strap in, kids, because it's going to be one hell of a ride. Take care.